All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Helen Shaw, and I am so happy to be here with you guys today to, I just want to make sure I'm recording. There we go. All right. So happy to be here with you guys today to introduce to you the Aroma Freedom Technique. All right. So before we begin, I just want you to have some oils handy. If you're brand new to Young Living and what you have with you is your starter kit, that'll work. All right. So just one thing. So the first three oils that we're going to be using is the frankincense, stress away, and lavender. So I have all three of my oils in one bottle. So I save all my old bottles and I reuse them for different blends that I do. And so I have um, equal amounts of each frankincense, stress away, and lavender in the bottle. And if you don't have that, that's fine. Just have your three oils available and you'll just be needing like one drop of each. Uh, if transformation, if you have it, believe, or just really any oil that's uplifting to you. Okay. Uh, you notice that it says round two oils, uh, different oils that you can have available for round two and three. Uh, we're probably not going to do rounds two and three, and we're actually going to skip a, a step or two in round one that Dr. Perf Perkis has found to be more beneficial uh, for us all. So, with that, let me get going here. All right, so the Aroma Freedom Technique was created uh, by Dr. Benjamin Perkis. He's a psychologist with over 20 years of clinical experience, and he also has used essential oils for many years. After studying many of the traditional as well as alternative methods of change, he integrated all of his findings into this one simple 12-step process that I'm gonna be showing you today. Okay, this process was so effective that he actually left a successful practice because he figured that he could help more people by training them on how to use AFT on themselves and others to clear out those negative thoughts, feelings, and memories. The purpose of AFT um, is to help you get from where you are to where you want to be. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about our goals, our dreams, um, and how sometimes we can feel stuck, confused, unable to move forward towards the life that we want. Some of us may feel like we're doing well in certain areas of life, but are not where we want to be in other areas. So for instance, you may be feeling inadequate. Uh, your self-esteem might be a little bit low. You might have a project that you're in the middle of doing that you just can't seem to finish. Whatever it is that you're feeling blocked in or stuck, the AFT process is definitely gonna help you with that, okay? So when worried about the future, um, or maybe we're remembering painful experiences or just not sure what to do to reach our dreams, then we're unable to enjoy life and accomplish things, right? Because that's what stress does to us. Um, the problem lies in where your mind is taking us and our emotions are gonna follow that, okay? Life happens through you um, by means of your thoughts, your beliefs, and your acts. So your present thinking uh, and your experiences are a direct result of past thinking and realities, okay? You have the power to change that. You have the power to, to, to break those patterns. Um, the present isn't always what we want, um, but it's kind of what the past has produced for us, okay? And we can definitely heal the past and we can definitely break through all that, okay? So here's a great example. So the woman on the left, she's getting ready to give a presentation. She's standing there, her, she's sweating bullets, okay? Um, she's not in any physical danger, but she's petrified. Okay, and it's because of the negative voices that are in her head and they're saying things to her like, oh my gosh, you don't know what you're talking about. What are you even doing up here? How did you get on this podium? Oh my gosh, is my nose too big? Maybe my hands are, aren't in the right place. What do I do? What if I forget? What if I can't read my sheet? Okay, so all of these thoughts are triggering anxious feelings for her, okay, which is leading to the sweaty palms, the heart racing, and everything that she's going on. Okay, and because of all that negative feeling that she's having right there, it could um, hold her back from doing engagements in the future, okay? Then we look at the woman on the right and look at how calm and relaxed she is, right? She's at ease, she's confident, she's in a mental state. 
um, that's allowing her to do her presentation, she's doing a great job. So what the AFT process does for you is it gets you from the lady on the left to the lady on the right, okay, from fearful to confident. All right, so where do these negative thoughts come from? Okay, um, AFT is built on the understanding that when we have a painful experience, our subconscious mind develops negative thoughts as a way to protect ourselves from future pain, okay? I have found this to be so, so true in my line of work and what I do here. And um, it's kind of fun to help people get past uh, where they were to where they are now. Um, for instance, look at this girl, right? She, she's in school. She's probably being gossiped about. She's being bullied. Um, people are making fun of her, whatever it is, right? So now her thoughts are, why are people doing this to me? Maybe it's because I'm ugly. Maybe I'm just not good enough. Um, maybe I'm too fat, maybe I'm too this, maybe I'm too that, okay? Maybe I just need to stay home instead of going out and having fun. So the trouble is, is that later in life, those beliefs that she developed here back in high school, or maybe that's even junior high, right, is going to stop her from having that life that she really wants. She's going to stay home instead of socializing. She's not going to believe that she's good enough to have friends and so on, okay? And she's not even going to know where those beliefs came from because this is just something that happened in her life, but her brain got a hold of it and her brain remembers how she felt. So in the future, when she's ever in a situation around people, around anything, her, her body is going to go into automatic safety mode and it's going to hold her back from doing the things that she wants to do. Okay. So the idea that we have negative thoughts that hamper us is not a new one, okay? Um, I hear it and see it all the time. I listen to a lot of uh, videos and audios, uh, the law of attraction, uh, being able to manifest things, positive affirmations, things like that, okay? It's everywhere. So even in the Bible, it tells us that we need to renew our minds as a man thinketh. So he is, okay? Uh, whatever the mind can believe, the mind can achieve. And you've heard this one too. Whatever you say, your mind feeds on, okay? There's a lot of good stuff out there. So some people are advising that we should fight those negative thoughts. You know, that if you hear a voice that it gives you that negativity, that you just need to reaffirm yourself by saying, no, I am good enough. I am great. I am this. I am that. And that you should just ignore them um, and think about other things. Think about your cat. Think about, you know, picturing yourself on the beach or perhaps just saying affirmations all day long will overcome those negative thoughts. Now, you know what, for some people, that method may work, but it's only gonna be a temporary thing, okay? Um, some people are get great results by doing those things and less. Everybody's different. But the problem is, is that you're constantly engaged in a fight with yourself, okay? Um, you affirm, I am successful. And your inner voice still shouts back, no, you're not. You know, it knows that it's a lie. Okay, so today what we're going to be presenting you, what I'm going to be presenting you with is another option. Okay, we're going to dissolve the negative thoughts with essential oils. So by following the trails back to the original painful memory that gave rise to that negative thought, we're going to identify the source um, of that inner resistance. Okay, then using the AFT process, uh, the memory complex is gently dissolved by smelling specific essential oils at the right time. As this happens, the negative thoughts disappear and they're replaced by confident, peaceful, inner knowing of what you need to do to reach your goals. All right, so how does this process work? All right, so in AFT, we're using the sense of smell to reprogram the subconscious mind. Because the response to smell is powerful and automatic, okay? Just like when you smell a food that's gone rotten, right? You have an immediate response that says, don't eat that, it's bad, right? Um, when an animal smells a predator, immediately they go into survival mode, okay? They don't have to think about it. You don't have to second guess yourself. It's just an automatic response, right? 
Well, this is because of the olfactory nerve. Um, it's triggered by aroma. It carries messages directly to the limbic system of the brain, where we process feelings of safety and danger. So there's a basic survival impulse, either to approach that that's good, or to avoid something that's threatening us, okay? The amygdala is just a small almond-shaped area of the brain that has two main functions, to process smell and to trigger the alarm bell. Um, think about incense, right? It's been used in rituals for centuries because the sense of smell is so powerful, it can calm us or it can set us running. The sense of smell is also closely related to your memory. And we know this because, come on, we've all had experiences um, of the smell reminding us of a very specific memory from childhood. Okay, whether you're smelling cookies, reminding you of being in mom's or grandma's kitchen, uh, the smell of gasoline, reminding you of dad working on cars or your grandpa out there or whatnot. Um, it could bring back memories of funerals or weddings, you know. Um, it just, the memory is a very amazing thing. So the sense that we're going to be using to dissolve these memory complexes, like I said at the beginning, um, are for many of you that are new to essential oils. So just know that these oils are natural compounds. Uh, they're distilled or they're pressed from fresh organic plants. They're extremely powerful and very concentrated. Okay, so for instance, it takes 5,000 pounds of rose petals to make one pound of rose oil. Huge. It takes about 75 lemons just to make one bottle of lemon essential oil. Okay, the scents that come from these oils are naturally balanced and they're very complex. Um, for instance, lavender actually may have over 600 different constituents. Uh, this means that the aroma can trigger memories and other reactions in the brain in a very balanced way. Okay. So people have known for generations that smelling pleasant aromas is a wonderful way to relax the body, mind, and spirit. Okay, that's why we have all these, uh, all these aromas out in the world that you can go into the grocery store and purchase. Uh, the problem with them is, is, is that they're laden with chemicals, right? Do, 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 do. And here we go. Um, so there's three um, interlocking techniques in the Aroma Freedom Arsenal. And each one is going to target a different area in which you might be stuck, okay? So for a memory that feels incomplete, unresolved, or maybe even emotionally charged, if you had some kind of trauma, perhaps, you've been through trauma, you've been through a fire, you've been abused, you've, uh, you just saw somebody die, okay? Those are huge. They're big traumas in your life. And we can use the memory resolution technique in order to help free you from those memories, okay? Um, for a current situation that's creating feelings of being stuck, being worried, being overwhelmed, then we're going to use the uh, aroma reset technique, okay? For a goal, um, something that we want to achieve in the future, uh, we use the aroma freedom technique, which is the one that we're going to be doing today. And AFT will reach into the present or the past, and it'll help to clear everything that's interfering with you achieving your goals. Okay, so typically um, when I'm working with clients, um, we go through an average of three rounds of AFT. Okay, some need more, some need less. Okay, but with each round that you go through with AFT, it's gonna significantly improve uh, helping you to reach that goal, okay? So when, I, uh, when we get started, I'm gonna be asking you to rate uh, your intention or your goal on a scale of zero to 10. So I just kinda of wanna show you what has happened here in the past. 
So zero to 10, zero meaning there's no way I can do this and 10 meaning I got this, you know. So if you're at a 10 already, you probably need to set a different goal. All right, so when people first start out, um, they usually rate anything from a two to about a six, a five or a six, two to five, let's say, okay, in that range. And then um, with the next round, uh, at the end of that round, they're usually somewhere between a five and an eight, okay? And then by the next round, uh, we're usually at anywhere from an, an eight to a 10. And of course, you know, as we go on, the, the results just keep getting better. Okay, so one thing that you do need to know, new, huh, need to know is that we do exclusively use Young Living essential oils in this technique. Okay, um, the first reason is uh, very important that you should know that um, inhaling anything other than a pure therapeutic grade essential oil um, is going to provide your body with wonderful chemicals that you just don't need, okay? <laughs> so you wanna be sure that you're using a good therapeutic grade oil, you wanna know the company, you wanna know about the, um, you know, our seed to seal process is amazing, our cultivation, everything that goes into making our essential oils is perfect, okay? So you don't wanna use anybody else's oils because you don't know how they're made, you don't know anything about them other than what they tell you. At least with Young Living, we can go to the farms, we can see things for ourselves. And we can have them tested as well. All right, so let's uh, get started. And throughout this, um, I am probably just going to keep going. I'll only pause for maybe 10 or 20 seconds uh, in between. And so if you need more time, please just um, pause the video, okay? So first we're going to uh, set our goal or our intention. Okay, so what is the one thing that you want to do that you're struggling with? Okay, what needs attention in your life? And I want these statements to be positive as if they're already happening, okay? So make them I am statements, okay? Check with yourself, check the words, see if they resonate with you. Um, so what's the one thing that you want? What's the one thing that you wanna do that you're struggling with? What might that be? Um, could it be that um, you feel like you're not a great uh, speaker, I'm not a good communicator? Um, so then you would phrase those like, I am a great speaker, I am a great communicator, um, I have a lot of patience, I am thrifty when I shop. I mean, it could be anything. It could be I want to reach this rank by this time. Um, just anything that's going on in your life, anything that needs attention, be very specific and you guys be honest with yourself. I mean, nobody's hearing you, nobody's listening to you. And even when I do one-on-one -on -one sessions, you definitely can just keep these to yourself or you could mute yourself while you're talking, which is the nice part about doing one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls, okay? Um, so anything that you want to do, okay? Then once you come up with your goal or your intention, I want you to rate that on a scale of zero to 10. Zero meaning, no way Jose, and 10 meaning you got this, all right? So rate it on a scale of, of zero to 10 as to how likely it feels that this goal can be realized by you, okay? Could be anything. I have a harmonious relationship. Um, I'm free of craving chocolates, uh, anything at all that you've got going on in your life, just make sure that you're saying this in a positive statement, and I am, I can, I have, I create, I enjoy, um, anything as long as it's positive. And once you have that statement, I want you to say that out loud, and you're gonna listen for the objections. I know you've all probably been hearing the objections already. So listen to what that negative voice says that tells you that that can't happen. And I want you to write down what that negative voice says, okay? So it could be anything. It could be, yeah, right, um, this can't happen, you're so stupid, what are you thinking? Uh, there's just a holy ray of cool things that your negative voice can say to you to keep you from achieving your goals. 
All right, and next I want you to identify that feeling. So identify how you feel when you hear that negative voice. Okay, don't get caught up in analyzing, um, countering, or fighting with the negative voice. Just know how you feel when you hear it. And then I want you to find a one word description that um, expresses how you're feeling, okay? And know that things like, um, I'm stupid, okay, that's a judgment. Um, I'm not feeling loved, that again is a judgment. So the feeling words would be more like sad, mad, scared, disappointed, abandoned, um, obsessive, whatever it is, um, frustrated, angry, okay, hopeless. So find that one word that's going to identify that feeling. And once you find that word, then I want you to um, notice where you're feeling that in your body, okay? Some people feel it in their head, their chest, their neck, their belly. Um, it could be anywhere. It could just be posture that you're feeling different about, okay? Wherever you notice this, feel it. Become aware of that feeling and where you're feeling it in your body. And now I'm going to ask you to drift back to an earlier time. It could be recently or long ago when you felt the same way. Guys, don't judge whether you've found the right memory or not. Okay, the first thing that pops up is usually what you're going to go with, okay? Even if it's not clear why you started thinking about it, okay? Um, it could be a snapshot. It could be a movie. Maybe there's lots and lots of different things going on in your head that are associated with that one feeling. Um, if there's many memories that pop up, that's fine. Picture it as a movie in your head, okay? put subtitles in it, whatever it is that you want, okay? Just know that you've identified that feeling. And if you're somebody who can't identify, like don't have a picture or an image or a memory, um, don't worry about it, okay? Just focus on the feeling and where it is in your body. Okay, this is a no judgment zone. There is no right or wrong here, okay? So now I'm gonna ask you to pull out your essential oils of your frankincense, your lavender, and your stress away and take one drop of each and put that in your hand and rub your hands together and cup your um, cup your nose with it i want you to close your eyes and i want you to focus on that snapshot the feeling the negative thought the sensation while smelling your oils allow the feelings to just pass through you as you smell the oil Remember that feelings are like waves and no waves last forever. See what happens to the inner image and the feeling in your body. Notice your thoughts. You may notice that the image is starting to recede or get fuzzy. You may notice the feeling in your body dissipating or dissolving. You may suddenly find yourself thinking about a related or maybe an unrelated memory. Whatever occurs, just notice its shift until it has completed. This may take anywhere from one to five minutes. Continue to smell your oils. Once you've noticed a shift, then you can move on to the next step. Okay, so now I want you to revisit your intention. So go back and read your original goal or the intention that you had. And I want you to rate that again on a scale of zero to 10 based on how likely it seems uh, that it will manifest in your life, okay? If your number is less than eight, we're gonna go back and return to step two and then we're gonna add some more uh, steps in between, okay? If you are at an eight or a nine uh, and you're feeling like you're okay, you're good, then we're gonna move on to the next step. And for the purpose of this video, 
we're going to pretend like all of you are at an eight, nine, or a 10. I had a nine or a 10. How's that? Okay. And uh, if there still is a negative voice, we do need to go back and do another round. Okay. So the next step here moving forward is that we're going to create an affirmation that expresses the new positive belief. Now, it could be the original one. You might just want to stick with that. Okay. As uh, the precious memory is cleared and your mindset becomes more positive, you've identified a new path for moving forward in your life. Okay, so now we're going to put that affirmation and we're going to express a new attitude with it. Okay, so it could be the same thing. It could be I am organized. I can do anything I can set my mind to. I mean, you might have come up with a new affirmation during your process. Okay, that is similar to your original one that it doesn't matter which one you use okay but we're going to anchor this new reality okay we're going to pull out our um, oils uh, believe transformation any oil that just is really uplifting for you okay and okay we're going to do a um, we're going to do what we what we call a superman pose okay so i want you guys to stand up and put oh here we go either put your hands on your hips um you can stand there with your arms out you can get out of the range of the camera or shut off your camera or whatever it is that you want to do so that nobody else can watch you do this and do this in the comfort of your own home but you're going to do this posture for two minutes and what you're going to do is you're going to state your affirmation and you're going to be smelling your oil so go ahead and grab your oils and put some oils in your hand and go ahead smell your oils and say your affirmation and do your power pose okay and just know that research shows that those power positions really do work um, holding your chest out being very confident and you're going to do this for two minutes okay so if you want to shut the shut the tape off and time yourself for two minutes and then come back that'd be great all right and the very last step here is to take action, okay? So make a plan and take action daily, okay? So now you've, um, you've set your intention, you've cleared out your negative thoughts and your memories, um, and you're feeling pretty good, I take it. Um, unless you were at less than an eight, then we need to go back and do this again, okay? So make a list of the steps that are necessary to reach your goals. Then um, commit to taking those steps today and every day while you're reaching your goals. Okay, so every morning I want you to say your affirmation, smell your oils, say your affirmation, and um, do that for two minutes in the morning and do it at night as well. Okay. Then I want you to take action and have some action steps. Write down three things that you can do um, that are going to help you make those dreams come true. All right. All right, guys. So if you're somebody who um, needs to do another AFT and go through the next thing, you can definitely contact me directly and I'm more than happy to do a session with you online. We could do a Zoom call. Um, you can go to my website, emotionalrelease.info and check it out there. Um, we can do a private session and we'll go wherever it is that you need to go. All right. Um, I do work with a few businesses as well and helping their employees overcome um, obstacles so that they can be better employees so that when they go to work every day uh, they're not bringing their junk from home with them so uh, it's been really fun working with you today here's my information there's my cell phone number um, if you are directly in my team I do not charge uh, for this uh, process. Um, if not, it's just a one-time charge. I will walk you through. We'll spend as much time as you need and be done. All right. So thank you guys for joining me today. And I have to figure out how to stop this meeting. 
there it is. all right, you guys have a great day and thanks for joining me.